what's up? So this video gonna be about my my Ru Abdu Raou Raou my Du Abdu Raou former Denver Nuggets player. And I'm doing this one about my Du Raou formerly known as Chris Jackson he used to play for Denver Nuggets. Some people think the Steph Curry before Steph Curry because he had a quick release shoot those threes. Not quite like Steph because Steph got crazy range, but I know why the comparisons and it ain't just because of the shade. It's because of the ac accuracy. And my Drew Raouf was nice with it. However, 24 years ago to this date, he was fined and whiteballed by the late David Stern and be commissioner because he refused to stand during the national anthem. Fast forward to today, you have that option. Now, all due respect, with the Black Lives Matter march and protests on with George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Asha Arbery, and others, the NBA and the hyphenated in the bubble is allowing players and coaches and people to take knees, which they should. However, when this brother did this back 24 years ago, they said he violated their laws. So they ran him out. Which was unfortunate because this guy should have been still playing. I'll put it to you like this. If you put my, my do Raul's style of play with the Nuggets back then to what the Nuggets are today, they would be a serious threat to come out the West because he's exactly what they're missing. A guy who can run, catch, shoot, shoot that three ball. He get, Malu Raul was nice with it. And remember, he was Shaquille O'Neal's teammate at LSU. And it was Chris Jackson. But anyway, point being, the hypocrisy and the agenda, racist agenda, the systematic racism of the NBA, just like how they ran Craig Hodges out, Never gave him a shot because political beliefs, just like the NFL with Colin Kaepernick. See, systematic institutionalized racism in professional sports is this is case point. You can beat up your wife and uh, drug penalia and all that. And I'm a firm believer people get second chances. However, when you make a move that's socially conscious and you are enlightening and educating and the people are grasping they don't want that you can break any kind of law pretty much with them reason or do anything and you got a chance to come back but you stand up for your rights as a black athlete they will white ball your behind they owe this man an apology they didn't want to take a knee in the nba games today oh my dude Raouf, an apology adam silver should personally contact him but the, will they do it? No. Let's see. The national anthem is racist words. Did not include black folks. So not only should you not take a knee, you shouldn't even be present when they play it. They should play that thing like they play in the music like when they have out beer and drinks. Doesn't need to be played at sporting events. For who? Who's it benefiting? And it don't seem the whole verses as I've said before. So who's it benefiting? It's just a slave mindset reminder that they keep the knee on black folks as next and black female players in WNBA. That's all it is. It's a slave. It's a reminder of systematic institutionalized racism. And if you don't go along with what they want, they will white ball you behind. That's what they do. But I always respect for my Duroe. And he should have been able to keep on playing. He was playing in Ice Cube's Big Three and he looked good too. Cat can still shoot, still quick, still agile. He got white ball. But look it up, though. But anyway, that's my thoughts and takes about my dude Raouf. It's 24-year anniversary. And he should be apologized to since players and coaches and referees and owners are taking knees. Hit that like, hit subscribe when the bell rings a new video. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for one another. And like I always say, if you don't stand up for something, you'll fall for anything. And they cannot stand you to be black and smart with it. You can tap dance and buck and shuck and grin. But if you use your noggin, you become a dangerous weapon. I'm out.